Hello Capricorn, welcome to my channel. Tarot by the Intuitive Teacup, that's me. You can just call me the Teacup, or you can call me Annie, because that's my real name. What's up? We're going to do a little, uh, little Sips mini love tarot reading for you. This is just an energy check-in, temperature check on where your person is at. Welcoming you to come into this uh, mini tarot reading with an open heart and an open mind. Not everything will be your message, so it's up to you to use your own discernment, your discretion, your intuition in what messages are for you, what you're going to take away here today. You're always going to be in the driver's seat. Highly recommend you take away the messages that resonate with you, fit your circumstance or scenario, everything else push to the side. Assume it's going out to someone else and maybe later down the line uh, it might just resonate for you, okay? The world works in mysterious ways, as does the tarot deck. I'm kidding. Let's get some uh, let's get some messages from my beautiful Capricorns out there. Capricorns. Everything else about this video. <laughs> I'm using Golden Girls Tarot. It's so cute. This card always makes me laugh. I just think it's so funny. Which my Capricorn friend gave to me. Shout out. I don't want to embarrass her, but shout out to my friend, the Capricorn, who gave me this amazing deck. Thank you. I love you. You're my soul sister. You know who you are. I hope you're watching. I hope I get some good messages for you since it's the deck I'm using that you gave me. All right, everything else about this video down in the box below, um, the decks I'm using here today, um, my social media, how to book a personal down below, it'll hook you up with all that info, let's hop in. So some of you have a fire sign on your mind, an Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, that you want to marry. You see them as your forever person. You see you, each other as growing together long term, specifically at Aries, though it certainly doesn't have to be. Someone who's very creative, very spiritual. They're very good looking. They might be a little bit, just a little bit superficial, but they have other redeeming qualities. Um, but yeah, you want an assured victory for them. For a lot of you, you might be dealing with a Leo, uh, specifically someone who has a kitty cat too that you're very fond of. Every now and then I get that message with my Queen of Wands. Let's see where where they're at what the universe wants you to know about this it could be that there's a fire sign interested in you capricorn too sometimes it can go both ways okay so page of cups <clears throat> did i just call you leo i feel like i did capricorn capricorn it's because there's a leo card there so if i did i apologize uh, but the, everything happens for a reason so again some of you might be dealing with a leo all right, Capricorn, so um, this person is interested in you. They're approaching very cautiously, though. They're approaching you very slowly. Uh, they're feeling out, they're testing out the waters, that expression. In their head, they would like to move much faster. Um, or, I'm sorry, in, in their heart. In their heart, they would like to move much faster, but their head is keeping them clouded. I'm going to throw something on this. They may be coming from some sort of uh, like far away, far away lands. Now, if they're at a distance from you, that might be a metaphor for being at an emotional distance. You might see this person as kind of a jester or a joker, kind of like a, a clown, a party clown, I just heard. You might not take them seriously, but you guys are looking at each other. This is so funny. I'm getting like, this sounds so like kind of um, like rom-com-esque, but you guys lock eyes across a room. I think that's what this distance is. So maybe you go to the party together. Maybe you're, maybe you're at a social distance and you guys catch each other's eye, but there's like a knowing. There's an inner knowing, especially for your person. They feel connected to you. Yeah, they... There's like God, spiritual, there, there's a, a, a almost religious connection they feel for you. This is so cute. And you spot them. You see them coming a mile away, Capricorn. You were watching them at a show. So performing something or making a speech or doing something in front of the public. They might be an actor or a, an entertainer. Something about the idea of putting on a costume. Absolutely. With my queen of wands, she's my actor, actress card. Whether you're male or female you're dealing with. And even this, like it's so bizarre, the costume of it, right? This person wears a costume for what they do or has a very specific uniform. And you like looking at them. They made your world crumble when you, when you looked at them, when you saw them for the first time or, or again, when you're going to see them for the first time. 
uh, everything the the everything else topples down. Like it's on. I'm getting like movie vibes. I don't know if any of my Capricorns are involved in like arts and entertainment. Like yeah, like the film industry. I'm getting all these like movie reference clips. It's very interesting. The world freezes and you guys move towards each other. And and just energetically, that's what it feels like. You might be dealing with a water sign, a Scorpio, Cancer, Pisces, or again, an Aries, Leo, Sag. Give me one more on this water sign. Or I just said water sign. Interesting. Give me one more on this person. Why is this page of cups? Yeah, you guys might meet at a party or some sort of social gathering where people are drinking a lot, but you guys... I don't think it's that you're drunk. In fact, it's just the opposite. There's such like a soberness. There's like a um, like a very serious connection that you guys share. What an interesting message this is. Your person's into like... Oh, there's a couple things. Uh, you might move in together for those who, who relate to that message. You might be dealing with a cancer. They rule the house and home. They're the fourth sign of the zodiac. This person also has like a kinky side to them. I don't know how else to say it. Just, I'm just going to show you. They got the whips. They, and there's something very gothic too. You might be dealing with a Scorpio too. Not that it has to be that, but kind of like whips and chains. This person has a many facets to them. So they may or may not be an actor or an actress or in the entertainment industry. They might, may or may not be into like kinky sexual play. And, but they also are very religious or have a deeply spiritual soul. You, you're dealing with quite a person. I'm, I I mean, I'm impressed. I'm fascinated. This feels like, um, yeah, this feels like a reality TV show. Only, only they don't have like the specific niche. Like, oh, that's the whatever. They have like a lot going on, but it's not bad. This is like, this is like someone you've never met before. There, there's a lot to be revealed. This person, I don't know if I would use the word secretive, but they don't share their true selves with everyone. This person might be a drummer. Uh, they, they might play drums or something about that might be a metaphor, the drumming, the beating of your heart, drumming, keeping the rhythm, keeping the beat. It might be like a DJ, something with an I don't know. I don't know why I'm getting all these specific things. This is way too specific, Capricorn. This is a general message. All right. In their heart, judgment. They may want to reconcile with you. This could be someone from the past. Again, this could be someone who's a musician or an entertainer. They're very, um, I heard bold or boisterous. They have a, okay. They have a very loud personality. And I know some of you are like, what the fuck? It might not be your message this time. They have a very loud personality. They have the six of wands twice. They're very confident. Um, they have trouble admitting when they're wrong, but they also, they are a sexual dynamo. Wow, this is an intense reading. They do attract a lot of people, but they're interested in you because there's something different about you. Oh my gosh, do you know what this is? Okay, this makes sense to me now. I was, I was wondering why I was getting all these specific messages. This person is very loud and boisterous. And again, they lead it maybe an untraditional or a very unusual life. The irony to this is as big as their personality is, what they really want is just like the house and the home and the kids. And I don't mean to offend Capricorn, but there's something... I know this is going to sound like a reverse compliment. Bear with me here. There's something very ordinary about you that they really like. It's almost like you would anticipate someone as, I don't know what to, word to use, kooky, different, eccentric, loud. Something about their personality is so over the top. They're looking for someone that kind of balances them out and they're frustrated because they're, they want your admiration. They want your attention, but you're sitting over there like, Eh, I'm not that impressed. Like, what else you got? It's really funny. You see them. They know that you see them. I mean, look at this. I don't know if you guys can see this, but the, the pairing of these cards, I know it's silly, but, like, everything happens for a reason. Do you see what's in her binoculars? She's looking at the coastline, right? Like, you guys are locked eyes. She knows exactly who she's looking at, male or female. This card is just hilarious. I love it. They know that you see them, and I don't know if you're playing hard to get, or you anticipate that their lifestyle is just too crazy that you couldn't keep up with them, but you're not giving your heart away easily. This is a, this is a very different message than I've ever gotten for you, Capricorn, which I love. I, I try to mix it up and try and read for new signs. It doesn't always happen that way, but... 
you may have your eye on someone else and again this person coming through it's like they've decided like you they are the hunter and you are the prey they want to make you theirs they have a lot of affection again like a sexual magnetic attraction and you're just cool as a cucumber you're four you're four in this reading all throughout four meaning in a sense like comfort zone safety zone chill relax it's just fine four corners of a house we're good we're stable you're not jumping at it both these cards I, it's really not you being worrisome at least not about this person there's something you're just really laid back and chill about it and there's this person is not used to getting that reaction this person is used to other people like rolling out the red carpet for them again in metaphor right they're used to getting a lot of attention and you're just like oh hey capricorn you might have options i am sensing that a little bit and this person is very perturbed but very determined to again like pounce on you there's a lot of like sexual heat coming through in this in this metaphor this could be someone you work with or you may have visited them at their place of work they're very creative again they're very spiritual they're very artistic but they are very sexual too they are very dominant in the bedroom they're, they're a little cougar <laughs> they in terms of their action they want to offer you sorry the cup of love king of cups right might be dealing with again with a water sign it could be an aries too you have a lot of water and fire as you so frequently do i i do think that's very typical of my last several readings with capricorn again there's something about the way they dress it's kooky it's weird it's different they may have a lot of tattoos they may wear they may wear sunglasses at night like that stupid 80s song i love it don't get me wrong there's almost yeah there's like a gothic vampire type quality to them or if it's not that it's it's just very dramatic like when they enter a room it's like they turn heads but the thing is they know they're doing it it's it's intentional sorry cross watchers i'm calling you guys out but again i think they have a good heart i think they have good intentions for you you're making them work for it though capricorn that's that's the message i get that's exactly what this is too this is the uh, sorry i have a new setup and my camera does everything in reverse so it, it really messes with my head it does this to me actually this to me your person is like why can't i get capricorn's attention why are they keeping me in this am i or aren't i or are we a thing type energy and you're just like oh hey sorry i can't i have errands to run i think you know what you're doing capricorn or the other side of this message could be you just truly aren't that interested in them but there's someone who wants your attention and interesting they're purposely very loud around you it's like when they know you're in the room they speak louder because they want your attention and i might be talking to the cross watchers of a capricorn especially sorry i just gotta say it if you're if you're cross watching when i mail capricorn the energies very likely go reversed yeah they see you as magic as fiercely independent uh, as very confident as well and that's the thing they like that about you but you're not a an attention whore or an attention hog and quite frankly i don't think you could be in a relationship with this person and want to have all the attention because that's what i mean that's why i think there's a part of you that already knows that and maybe you're turned off by it maybe you're just like oh this asshole maybe right or or again they are coming up in your spread for a reason and you do i think most of you do know who this person is or you're going to meet them soon again you're gonna lock eyes and i think you're both interested you're you're both intrigued this person may be spying on your social media accounts and trying to learn more about you but again you're you're not giving it away for free or you're not or you're not giving up without a fight maybe it's like you're really trying to get this person to be vulnerable to advocate what, what it is that they're really feeling about you because yeah in a sense it's like you you want to know that there's more than just like the glitz and the glamour of this person because you can stand on your own two feet capricorn yeah what i'm getting from this is like you're solid you're good the romantic people you're allowing into your life they better contribute something positive to your life or you're just like whatever do you know what I, like they almost have something to prove to you like okay like yeah you're good looking but what else like that's that's absolutely what i get from this some of you are dealing with a sagittarius or some of you may have very strong sag in your chart 
you're you're considering the idea of going out with them or uh, of blending cups. Some of you sent, um, I, I mean, I guess it would have to be my females, although I don't know your life, whatever. Some of you may have sent like nudie pics to them uh, or like topless pics. Some of you showed your boobs to this person, but I, it's almost like through a screen or like, that's what I mean. It's yeah, I don't think it was in person. You're holding that and maybe that's like you're taunting them or you're toying with them. Interesting. Yeah, a lot of you are dealing with a Sagittarius and there's long term potential there. It's funny, this is this is the type of reading where it starts off so kind of bizarre and random, but this may be something you look back on 10 years later and you're like, and then we got married. Like, do you know, there, there's something so bizarre about this, but it, it is funny. It's making me laugh. So if you're in pain and misery and you're suffering, I'm sorry, Capricorn, like from the bottom of my heart, but this probably isn't your message. Something else wanted to come through this week, and quite frankly, I'm really happy about it. I Like, it's fun to get new and different messages, and this is very unique. Yeah, I don't discount this person entirely because it might just work out in, in a way that you're not anticipating. Both these cards to me as a reader are very indicative of Sagittarian energy. So if that makes sense to you, you may be moving away from a Gemini and moving towards a Sagittarius. Again, you might have options. You may be keeping someone in your back pocket, maybe an Aries or a water sign. Yeah, in fact, you I think you you have two people very interested in you. But yeah, there's trust issues with one, and I don't know. I don't necessarily know if trust issues is too harsh a word, but you're kind of again, you're on the fence. The whole metaphor of like you know, the hunt, it's on. Like you're, they're the predator, and you're the prey, and they're gonna catch you again in like a kind of like a BDSM kind of sense. I gotta be honest with you, that's the one you're like. Eh. I think you, you have a couple other prospects, and it's quite frankly, it's this. It, you want to be treated like the empress, and I actually really like that, you know, an earth queen, right? You know, Capricorn. You want to be treated right, so the, the universe is ushering in offers to you, but it's up to you to make the decision which one honors your value the most. Some of you are going to choose the Cancer or the Pisces. Yeah, and there will be communication about... about uh, Turning a new leaf with someone or turning uh, starting fresh. And then some of you are just flat out going to choose to be single and focus on your own self-love. You have a lot of aces coming through. So that's what I mean. Multiple new beginnings, whether it's a, a journey of self-love with this person or with that person, you have three aces coming through. The only one you're missing is is, a, is the wand. So potentially you, you may not. That's what I mean. The fire sign may come back around later. There's something you're questioning about with the fire sign. It's like they're not here yet, but something about that is going to make sense later. That's what I'm being uh, called to tell you. Uh, particularly, yeah, someone's in competition for your attention, particularly with a Sagittarius. All right, this has been way too long. I love you guys. Uh, like, share, subscribe for me. That helps a whole lot. I will see you soon for more tarot. Bye, Capricorn.